Hey folks, Justin in at Tackle Tactics HQ, gearing up for the next adventure. I just wanted to share with you a piece of footage that reinforces something that I often say to anglers, and that is when you're out fishing, your eyes and your ears are a couple of your most important tools when you're out there fishing. So it's all about keeping the eyes and the ears open for signs of, of life and what's going on around you. So whether it's fish busting the surface, whether it's bait in the water, bait flicking, and in this piece that I'm going to show you, I was actually on the phone chatting to my wife while I was out in the boat, and out of the corner of my eye, I saw a prawn flick across the surface. And for me, if I see a prawn or a bait fish flick across the surface, first thing I want to do is punch a cast in there, because often that'll be a fish hunting that bait and really firing that bait up and getting it out of the water. So it might be a tail, it might be a trevally, yellowtail pike, all sorts of things that chase bait. But in the areas that I fish, 95% of the time it's a brim and generally a decent brim that's chasing that prawn or that bait fish. So for me, I like to have a two and a half inch slim swims rigged at all times, ready to go in the boat or in the kayak. And I'll generally have it on a quarter ounce 1 0 jig head, which allows me to punch a long cast even into the wind, wherever I see that prawn or that bait fish flicking. So check this out, this is pretty cool. You'll notice the prawn or the bait flicking across the surface. I pick up the rod, still on the phone, eventually get off the phone and we manage to hook up the fish. So when I fish it, I just throw it straight to where I see the bait movement or the bait flicking and I'll just give it a couple of shakes because that, that bait that was there was trying to get away and then I'll just go to a slow roll and if the fish bites it or hits it, I'll just keep rolling that plastic and the fish will just bite and it'll find the hook and away you go, game on. So remember, when you're out on the water, don't forget the ears and the eyes as a couple of your best tools that you've got to locate bait, locate fish. Fish on. Oh, there's something eating. Oh, there's something eating a prawn. Oh, you want us to be live while I catch this brim? Yep, oh, he hit it. Oh, eat it, buddy. He's all over it. All right, I'll go and catch him. Oh, he's all over it. He saw me though. Cheers, bye. Love you. <laughs> all right, again, we've got a bit of bait ahead of us here, a bit of bait working. So we're gonna get this placky right in amongst that bit of bait that's getting harassed. Most likely a brim. Come on, Brimbo, where are you? Come on, Brimbo. Yep, there he is. <laughs> That was awesome. That's not a bad looking brim either right there. Oh, that's cool. That's pretty awesome. So that fish, we saw the, saw the bit of bait. Bit of bait working. Saw the bit of bait, flicked the plastic in there. Just that hop hop, a little bit of a shake to stir them up and then that slow roll. And that's a cracker brim on that two and a half inch slim swim. So they, you know, they cannot resist that little paddle tail just swimming through the water. Yeah, they see that little paddle tail and game on. No plastic out there has a tail action like that thing. It is insane. So there you go. That's a solid brim in anyone's language on my favorite little paddle tail plastic. I saw the bit of bait, bit of bait working. Saw a bit of bait, flick the plastic in there, just that hop hop, a little bit of a shake to stir them up and then that slow roll. And that's a cracker brim on that two and a half inch slim swim. So they, you know, they cannot resist that little paddle tail just swimming through the water. Yeah, they see that little paddle tail and game on. No plastic out there has a tail action like that thing. It is insane. So there you go, that's a solid brim in anyone's language on my favourite little paddle tail plastic. There we go. There he is, a nice solid brim. <laughs>